Hi there, my name is Ronnie. Today I'm going to teach you something very fun and exciting and important. It's how to improve your speaking. Whether you're speaking English or whether you're doing public speaking in front of people or whether you're just speaking to a neighbor, someone on the bus, someone in a store, a taxi driver, you might be shy. What does shy mean? Shy means you don't like or you're nervous to speak to strangers or to speak to other people. So if you are naturally a shy person, I'm sure you've heard people over and over again say, don't be shy. Come on, don't be shy. Easier said than done, isn't it, shy people? So, I want to give you some tips or some pointers, maybe to help you to be less shy. It's impossible to be 100% outgoing if you are naturally a shy person. So, today's lesson is how to improve your speaking. Don't be shy. The first thing that you have to do is think about why. Why am I shy? There may be many different reasons. I'm just going to go through a couple of them. The number one reason, probably, if you're watching these videos, is because <clears throat> you are trying to speak a new language. Maybe it is English. And you are shy to make a mistake. You don't want to say something bad, funny, rude, embarrassing. You don't want your face to go red and people go, ha, ha. you said a funny word. Okay. That will happen. And you know what? Who cares? It happens all the time. I say funny things a lot too. Um, another reason why you may be shy is because you talk funny. Lots of people have different problems with their mouth. Some people have a speech impediment. Some people have a lip, so they don't pronounce words properly, like me. <laughs> um, maybe you have a very strange or different accent than the other people around you. Um, people often ask me, Ronnie, where are you from? And I say, Canada. And they say, no, you're not. Uh, uh, yes, I am. But you have an accent. Yes, I have an accent. I talk funny. Who cares? I'm from Canada. Nice to meet you. So even if you do talk funny or you have an accent, rock with it. Yeah, you speak differently. Good. Don't be like other people. Other people are boring. This is a problem. <sighs> Maybe you just don't like to talk. Okay? Maybe you are quiet. Maybe you don't want to talk to anyone ever at all. That's cool. If you don't like people and you don't like to talk, don't force yourself to talk. Maybe you could write something. Maybe you could text message or email someone. But that's not going to improve your speaking. If you do not like to talk to people, that's your choice. But I'm trying to help you overcome your shyness. So let's go through a couple of ways to actually do this. Don't be shy. Just say hi. <laughs> so, if you're standing at a bus stop or in a subway station or anywhere and there's another human being beside you, let's say that you're at a bar and there's a beautiful girl or a very handsome boy, the quickest, the easiest, and the best way to speak to someone is just to say, Hi, my name's Ronnie. Don't use Ronnie though, that's my name. You have to use your name. So just say hi to the people. If they want to speak to you, they will start the conversation. They will say, oh, hi, my name is blah, blah. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you too. Uh oh. And then your shyness sets in because, uh, oh, what do I say? What do I say? What do I say? What do I say? Um, what do I say? What do I say? Shoes, shoes. I have shoes. I have shoes. Do you have shoes? Oh, such an idiot, I can't even speak. Maybe the other person will have asked you a question. 
you can always ask people basic questions like, where are you from? Why do you talk funny? Why are you shy? All those fun questions. Um, when you're actually speaking to someone, it's really important that you choose a topic that you like. So, if I was to meet someone, hi, my name is Ronnie. Hi, cool. So, um, huh. oh, music. oh, I like music. Do you like the Sex Pistols? Yeah, oh, me too. Oh my God, no way. What other kind of music do you like? So I like to talk to people about music. The only problem is not a lot of people like the same music I do. <laughs> so you have to choose a topic that you like to talk about. If you're lucky, the other person will also like the topic. The next one, get a job. Now, this might be very, very, very strange for you to even comprehend, but I, right here, am shy. When I was a child, I wasn't shy. I would do anything and go anywhere. But as I got older, high school, university, I just didn't want to talk to people. I think people are boring. <laughs> and I'd rather sit by myself and think about things. So I became shy. I didn't want to talk to people. People would talk to me. I'd be like, I don't know what to say. Hi, ha, ha. One thing that I did do when I was in high school, I got a job as a waitress. Goop. So guess what? Every time somebody came into my restaurant, I had to talk to them. I had to be nice to them. I had to smile. <laughs> Hi. I don't want to smile, but I had to. Getting a job where you have to talk to people, like being a waiter or a waitress, even something in the back, like working in a kitchen, working in a store, if you can get a job where you are forced to talk to people, I guarantee you, you will overcome your shyness because you are forced to talk to people. Please also be careful. People are boring, as I mentioned before. So um, the next one is get a dog. Get a dog? What? Are you going to talk to the dog? <laughs> no, but guess what? I don't know why. People who have dogs always like to talk to other people who have dogs. For example, in the morning when I walk my dog, people talk to me about stupid things about my dog. Oh, how's your dog? Who cares? What's your dog's name? Why? Are you going to send a birthday card? Okay. People that have dogs are usually friendly and it forces you to interact with other people. Sometimes people ask me questions and I say, yes, seven, good, okay. And I just stare at my dog and come on dog, come on dog, let's go dog, come on, I don't want to talk to these people. But getting a dog will help you walk around the neighborhood. It'll help you talk to people. It's an interesting idea that if you have a cat or you're a meow cat person, you're shy. But people that have dogs are usually, but not always, more friendly. Are you a cat person or a dog person? This is one of my favorite things in the world ever. Yeah, travel. Okay, leave your house, get on an airplane, get some money first, get a job get some money, jump on an airplane, and go traveling. Do it alone. <gasps> How scary. If you travel by yourself without anyone, that means alone, you are forced to talk to people. You're going to be lonely. You're going to want to talk to people. You're going to go to restaurants by yourself and sit there in the, the menu all alone. You're going to see other people talking and go, <gasps> I wish I had a friend. All you have to do is talk to people. Say the magic word, hi, and start a conversation. When you travel, you're forced to talk to people. When you check in at a hotel, when you take a bus, when you're asking for directions. And I guarantee you, you will make some really good friends. You'll probably meet a lot of crazy people too. They're the best. Um, and last but not least, when you're traveling alone, when you have a dog, when you're at your job, get drunk. Oh yeah. There's a reason why alcohol has a name like uh, six pack attack or liquid lunch. Because when you drink alcohol, social lubricant is a good one. 
When you drink alcohol, you are not as shy as you were. Now, I am being a little bit sarcastic when I say get drunk. If you have one or two drinks, you're going to feel less shy. When I write here, get drunk, I don't mean like get <laughs> and throw up. That's not cool. Nobody wants to talk to you. So have one or two alcoholic drinks or just some Coke and you will become less shy. Naturally, it'll happen. It's fun. Are you shy? Don't be shy. Follow these tips. Figure out why you are shy. And please write in the comments and tell me why you're shy. Maybe I can help you. Maybe I can't. Maybe you're just shy. If there you are, good luck. Bye.